Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. You know what the byword is? No. To be called outside of your God-given name. To be called African American, nigger, spit, wetback, porch monkey, color, Afro-American. Those are bywords. Those are not the words that's given to you from God. God called us what? What color are the Jews? What? You on point, sis. You paying close attention. So we are the what? We are the Israelites. We are the, Israelites. We are the real Jews. Yes. Hey sis, so what we teaching right now, according to the Bible, we're not black or African Americans. We're the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. And we're reading about the slavery that our people went through. All of this you see right here, slave ships, that's us. This is in the Bible. Did you know that was in the Bible? Give me, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. So now, right, our sons and daughters was taken from us and given to another race of people. How did our people get here, sis? Sh what's your name again? Shemika. Shemika. Right? Yes. Come here. You put me too, sis. What's your name? Shantae. Shantae. How did our people get here? Shantae and Shamika. How did our people get in this land? How? But how did they bring us? What was the way they but what was the way of transportation? Was it a plane? It was a boat. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with shit. The Bible says that the Lord was going to bring the Israelites, right? We talking about the Israelites, right, sis? You ain't paying attention. Come on now. Look, the Bible says that we was going to come back into slavery on what? With ships. With ships. How did we get here? On ships. God said that the Israelites would come into slavery on ships. So that's why they came. They came on ships. We came on ships. Who? What race of people came into slavery what? on ships? Black people. But what did Moses say he was speaking to? He was speaking to like... The, we just said it. Remember, that's why I said I'm going to ask you a question. Israel. Israel. So if the nation of Israel went into slavery on ships, who are we? Who? No, who are we? If the nation of Israel went into slavery on ships, who are we? What race of people went into slavery on ships? Black. So who are we? Before we was called black, we was called what? Oh, we were just called... You just said it earlier. Israel. Israel. That's why I'm trying to get the connection. So that's what we is, Israel. We the nation of Israel, sis. Yes, we are the Israelites right. according to the Bible. Okay. But our names were changed. Give me that real quick. I, I want to finish this real quick. Watch this. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our homeland again. And there, and there, once we got off the ships, ye shall be sold. Shall be what? Ye shall be sold uh -huh. unto your enemies. Look at this, sis. We was being sold. Look at the flyer you got in your hand. What are they doing to us on that flyer? What are they doing? They selling us. They selling us. We was, right, we was going to be sold unto our enemies. Why? Because we did what? We broke what? Exactly, which is his commandments in the Bible. So God said that we was going to be sold. Why do we think we're black today and we don't know that we're the Israelites? Read verse 37. Watch this. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. We were going to become an astonishment. The other nations look at us and they shocked. They can't believe the way we live. They're like, they don't take care of their kids. They don't marry their women. They sell drugs to each other. They kill each other. They don't know how to get along. They walk around with their pants hanging off their behind. The woman want to be over the man. They shocked. They like, I can't believe this guy's people right here. These the Israelites. They know who we are. We don't know who we are. They shocked. They can't believe we live like this. Read it again. And them shall become an astonishment. We became an astonishment to the other nations. Read. A proverb. A proverb is a wise saying like, Black people don't like the word. Right? They, that's what they say. Well, they say black people can't read or they can't do this or do that. 
There you go. That's a proverb. They're calling us something that we're not. You understand what I'm saying? Do all black people don't like some black people don't like the word, but do all black people not like the word? Okay, then. exactly. But we became a proverb. Because we didn't, we didn't do what we were supposed to do, so not everybody. We didn't do what we were supposed to do, which is to keep what? God. Which is to keep the commandments. Read on. You're on point, sis. You're on point. Okay. And a byword. And a byword. There we go right there. You know what a byword is? No. To be called outside of your God-given name. To be called African-American. Nigga. Spit. Wetback. Porch monkey. Color. Afro-American. Those are bywords. Those are not the words that's given to you from God. God calls us what? What color are the Jews? What? You on point, sis. You paying close attention. So we are the what? We are the Israelites. We are the real Jews. We're the Jews. Exactly. But we're the Israelites according to the Bible, sis. That's why you. That's why we don't know who we are today. That's why we walking around thinking we because God did it to us. God put curses on us because we disobey Him. Just like your parents, right? You ain't got no kids. So when you have kids, right? Whenever you get married first and have kids, give me that scripture. And, uh, we all right, I'm going right back to that. Give me First Timothy five. Give me First Timothy five and fourteen. You have kids once you're once you're married, and you don't have sex unless you're unless you're married. You doing that? Be honest. Okay. Good. I, that's, I, I was, I was saying, don't do it. Because the Bible says marriage is an honorable thing. You understand? And you're my little sister, and I'm going to teach you just like I teach my little sister. Just like I teach my, my daughter. Nobody, you got a father? Okay. That's what we're here to be. Fathers to our sisters. You understand? Fathers to the, to the, the Bible says be a father to the father. That's what we're here for. When you come among us, we're going to be a father to you. You understand? To help guide you the right way. You ain't got to worry about, we're going to help you out. You, you got to come to the school. Watch this. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5 and verse 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry... Have, baby, have, have uh, be a baby mom. That the younger women marry... Have a boyfriend. Marry... So God said that the younger women should get married. You understand, sis? Yeah. Get married. Don't open them legs up to know anybody. God said that the young women should get married. Bear children. So what comes first? Have a baby or get married? Get married. Get married. He said that the younger women marry, then have children. Guide the house. And then you guide the children. You teach the children God's commandments. Teach the children God's commandments. Come on. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Now give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5 and I'm gonna let the next teacher come up. I'm gonna show you one commandment. Now, what, why did we go into slavery? Why we don't know who we are as a people? Because we didn't follow God's commandments. Because we didn't follow God's commandments. Now, if God put us on punishment for breaking his commandments, what should we do to get in his good graces? Repent. And keep what? And keep his commandments. And keep the commandments. Yes, There's no one right. commandment you can keep, sis. You love God? Yes. You do? Yes. Let's see. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman, the who? The woman, talking about you, the woman, shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment that men shouldn't wear? It's about clothing. Bras, panties, heels, heels wigs, nails, nails, lashes, lashes. Come on that outer garment. Makeup, Makeup dresses, dresses skirt. skirts. Good, good. Let's just start right there. You on point. So if a man not supposed to wear a dress, oh. what should he wear? Man clothes. Which is what? One word. You got them on. Pants. pants. Man should wear pants, right? Yes. And not a dress. Yes. So man clothing will be pants. pants. And women clothing. Now watch what the Lord say. Read it again. You on, hey, this is right here. Smart, man. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So women are not supposed to wear what? Pants. Pants. God said it. That's how he set it up. He said, I want men to wear pants and I want women to wear dresses. That's what God, we didn't write this. God said it. You love the Lord. 
He said, you gotta, guess what, sis? You gotta take them pants off and put on dresses. When you go home, change your wardrobe. And it gotta be clothes, drop some of us. And it gotta be clothes, dresses that's not tight. And that's exactly, that's your own point. Some, why, why are these young women understanding this and these older women don't understand? Bring it out. This don't make no sense. Really bad, guys. Go ahead. So that's why when you go to church, you have to, girls have to wear dresses and men have to wear men. Dresses. Because this how it's supposed to be anyway. Yes. But they, but they in the churches they're not saying sis, you gotta wear a dress every day, every day. all day. That's you understand? Why you in God home? Exactly. Why you worship God? That's what. No, you gotta wear it all the time. Like our wives wear dresses every day, all day. The sisters that come to our school, they wear dresses every day, all day. They gonna teach you, sis. We got sisters in there that's gonna teach you. That's young, just like you. That can get over the hump of thinking that we gotta follow the ways that America taught us. We're not supposed to be like that as a people. That's why we on what? Punishment. That's See, sis, you're you on point. So you're on point. You're on point. Okay. You're gonna learn a lot today. They, they never taught you this in church out of all the years you've been in there. But today you learn that you're not supposed to wear pants. Today you learn that your nationality is what? You're what? Israel. Israel from the tribe of what? Start with a J. Um, we are the real Jewish. We are the real Jews. You from the tribe of Judah. That's right. You understand, sis? You from the you learning who you are today and why you went through the things you went through. We went in slavery. We at the bottom because we broke the commandments of God. You understand, Judah. sis? Now you gotta repent. Repentance is repentance means to feel remorseful for something you did wrong against God. And then fix it. You say, you know what? I didn't know I wasn't supposed to wear dress, uh, pants. You send up prayers to the Lord, say, I'm sorry, Lord. You know what? I'm going to change my whole wardrobe. I'm going to go. You ain't got to buy no expensive clothes. Say, I'm going to start doing what I can do for the Lord right now today. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.